Hey guys, welcome yet again to yet another home range poultry video. Now on today's video, eh, the key thing that I really want to show you guys is a very smart uh, new technology that uh, is being used in our brooders. And uh, really what the technology does, eh, when the heat lamps are providing heat, eh, there's a huge challenge. If you let your lamps be on full time, that will actually be a very expensive cost and it would actually not make sense for you to use these infrared bulbs for brooding because they keep the cost very high. Now, what you're seeing in our brooders here is that you're seeing the chicks are divided into two. So there is the first partition there where you find that those chicks are only about one week old. And then we have the second partition here and these chicks are about two weeks old. Now, of course, chicks which are one week old and chicks which are two weeks old eh, require very different temperatures. Chicks which are within the first seven days of their life they need a temperature of about 31 to 32 degrees celsius now once you get to about the second week eh, the chicks need to only get about between 30 and 29 degrees celsius so in a situation where you have your infrared bulbs on full time eh, you're not really able to monitor these or provide the required conditions for the chicks so what has happened there's this new system that you're seeing here this is called Arinifu. It's a smart brooder technology. Now, what this system does, eh, and for this particular brooder, eh, you can see that we have this system right behind there. So, as you can see, power is coming from the power source, and then it's coming directly to the controller here, the Arinifu controller. And now, that system has sensors all over the brooder that sense the temperature and the humidity in the brooder. And the beauty about this smart this brooding system eh, is that it's able to know this particular brooder the chicks are on which age so it knows what temperature to actually maintain inside this brooder and as you can see it has its own separate sensors you can see one of the sensors there this is this is a temperature sensor and then you can see that there's another one on that end so these two sensors are for this let's call it a a side of the brooder and on the B side, eh, there's also one sensor here. And you can see like this one is pretty close to the chicks. And then we have a second sensor somewhere on this corner. Now the purpose of this sensor eh, is to determine the temperatures in the brooder and send that information back to the controller. And it will tell the controller what conditions either to switch on the bulbs or to switch them off based on the heat that is inside the brooder. Now, for this particular case, because as you can see, I've opened up the brooder, eh? yeah, you know, it's become a bit chilled. Eh? What is going to happen is that the, set, the controller is going to keep the lamps on until it achieves the required temperature. Now, once it becomes hot enough, eh, this system is going to automatically switch off these infrared bulbs. And by so doing, eh, you realize that you're able to maintain your chicks within the required temperatures. And, and in the event, obviously, eh, that the brooder becomes a bit chilly or the temperature go down, eh, the system is going to automatically switch on the bulbs. Now, in this case right now, eh, what is happening is that, as you can see, all the bulbs are actually on. Now, what is going to happen is that once it starts heating up and the brooder starts becoming a bit hot, going outside the ambient temperature that these chicks require, the smart system is automatically going to switch off the bulbs. And I would actually want us to watch that in play. You can see the power source is up there. You can also see the smart brooder system is right there. And you can see all the bulbs right now are actually on, meaning that they are heating up the brooder and waiting for the brooder to actually get to the ambient temperature based on the age of the chicks. And then the controller will determine once that temperature gets to the ambient temperature, it's going to switch off the heat sources so that they don't continue providing too much heat. Now, for brooding, eh, as much as not having enough heat is a problem, eh, one of the other biggest challenges is that most people don't know how to maintain the correct temperature. So sometimes you may actually find that overheating is yet another challenge that people actually uh, expose their chicks to. Now, as you can see, like for such a case, eh, you can see that most of the chicks are running away from the heat source. Why? Because at the very center, eh, it's very hot. So the chicks are staying away from the heat source. So obviously, if you have a bulb that is continuously going to be on full time, eh, you will have a brooder that is easily going to overheat the chicks. So in this case, I want us to observe when the controller is going to switch off 
the heat sources once it's actually able to determine that the temperature in the brooder is actually ambient enough something else that i should mention guys apart from the temperature this controller is also able to control humidity you can see here this is a humidity controller so what it does is senses the humidity uh, inside the brooder and humidity is also very important for you to control in the brooder because if the humidity goes too high it starts creating an environment where coccidiosis especially becomes easy for it to start forming inside the, the brooder so a very high humidity is very dangerous to your chicks because it's definitely going to create an environment where very many bacteria and disease causing organism now starts to thrive inside so it's very important for the humidity in your brooder to remain at least below 50 or at least not more than 55 percent and uh, really with a smart controller system eh, you're able to deal with all those kind of issues why because the controller is able to control that so guys let's watch what is going to happen within a short time the brooder lights are going to go off once the controller is able to determine that the heat is sufficient inside the brooder so there you go guys you've seen on side b eh, the controller has been able to determine that the temperature is hot enough and what it has automatically done eh, is that it has just switched off the lights on side b only as you can see side a is still on why because using the sensors eh, the controller is able to determine that this side of the brooder where the chicks are only one week old eh, is not hot enough so until it gets hot enough eh, these bulbs will remain on and then once it becomes hot enough eh, again like the, it has happened on side b the controller is going to switch off the brooder lights so guys this system is fantastic for two reasons really number one it's able to ensure that your chicks are kept at the ambient temperature that they require and the brooder does not become too hot or too cold number two eh, the controller ensures that you save on the cost of brooding why because it's able to make sure that the lamps are not on full time as it would be in a case where such a system has not been installed so guys I really encourage you to start using technologies even in your small uh, farming experiences because technologies in farming eh, really do make life easier and help you as a farmer be able to reduce on your costs so i hope you've enjoyed this video guys if you have a comment if you have a question about the smart brooding system please don't hesitate to call us 0727 200 116 or you can visit our website www.homerangepoultry dot com or don't forget guys we are on all social media platforms search for home range poultry farm don't forget guys you are able to learn way way more beyond just brooding from home range poultry because we make sure that we do a training every single month so check out our website www.homerangepoultry.com and you're able to know when we'll be doing the next training so keep watching guys don't so forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and if there's any other question that you want or some other type of videos you want us to do kindly guys don't hesitate to write to us keep watching guys